Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Vue 3 application and in this video we'll be working on appointment create page. So first of all, let me give you the demo of what we're gonna build throughout this video. So here when I click on add new appointment button, we are on create appointment page, right? And we have this form and if I fill out this form and click on submit, then we created that appointment with this client and we have this beautiful touch notification. So throughout this video, we'll be building this exact thing. So now let's get started. Okay, first of all, we need to make this button workable. So when we click on this button, we need to take the users to create appointment page. So for that, we need to create the route and the component. So let me go to routes.cs file. And after here, let me copy this. And for the path, it will be admin appointments create and the name is admin appointments dot create and for the components let me give it a name called appointment form and we haven't created that component so let's create that component appointments and let me create that component called appointment form dot view and we need to import that component so over here after list appointments we need to import appointment form okay now let me go to appointment form let's add a script setup let's add a template and for now let's add a div with message called hello now if i visit appointment slash create page then we are on that page right and we see this hello message but here instead of displaying this message we need to display the design so I have already created the design. So let me go to views, stops, and I have a added inside of appointment form. So let me copy everything from here. And let me go to appointment form. And let me paste here. Okay. And we have this beautiful design. And I have added router link for those links. Home and appointments. So if I click on appointments, we are in appointment space. And if I click on home, then we are on dashboard, right? Which is perfect. Now, if I click on appointments, and then we need to make this button workable. So this is not working. So let me go to list appointments.view file. And let me search for that button called a new appointment. And instead of using anchor tag, Let's use router link to slash admin slash appointments slash create. Now if I click on this, then that button is working. But over here in this menu, this is not being selected, right? When we are on appointment page, this is active. But if we go to appointment create page, then this is not active, right? So let's fix this as well. So for that, let me go to app.blade.php, which is the main layouts file. And over here, we have the appointments with this router link. And we have this active class. So if I remove this and add an active class over here, then this is active on create appointment page as well, right? But we need to make this dynamic because currently it is active uh, every time. If I visit users, it is still active, right? So let's make that dynamic. So let me remove this class from here and let's use bewind and we need to add the conditionals. So here we can access the route using dollar route and we can get the path and let's add another method called starts with and here we are checking that if the path starts with admin slash appointments then we want to make this as active otherwise will not be adding any class so here if it is either admin slash appointments or admin slash appointments slash create then this will add the active class otherwise it will not add that class right now let me test this we are an appointment list page and this is active if we go to add new appointment this is still active if i go to users then that is removed which is perfect now let me go to create appointment form over here and instead of script tag, 
let's define this state called form and this will be reactive and we need to import that from view and let's define the field which are title client id start date start time and description now we can use v model inside our input over here v model equals form dot title and for now let's just use v model on title and description form dot description now when we are submitting the form we need to handle the form submit let's do on submit prevent the default behavior and call the method called handle submit now let's define this method called handle submit over here handle submit and insert this let's say alert here and if i fill out this form and click on submit then we see that alert message and here we need to send the axis uh, post request so let me do axios.post and the endpoint is api slash appointments slash create and we need to pass the form and after we receive the response let's say alert saved and we haven't created this endpoint so let me go to wave.php file and after this say the post route apps api slash appointment slash create and then let's call the store method on it let me go to appointment controller appointment controller dot psc file and here let's define that method public function store and here let's die and dump request all let me fill out this form let me open up the console let me go to network tab and let me click on submit if i click over here and we are getting those input right and if you are curious about filling this form automatically i'm using this extension which is a form filler extension so if i click over here then this form is being filled if i click on submit then we get those information right now we just need to save those information inside our database for now we will not be dealing with validation on this video we will just save those information directly in our database so for that let me do appointment create and we'll be receiving the title request title client id for now let's just use it manually let's say one and if i go to create appointments table we have this field called start time end time so start time let's say now and time let's say it now later we will modify this and for the description let's get that from the request description and we also need the status and for that status let's use enum appointment status scheduled and we need to return response session with the message success now if i fill out this form click on submit then this is not saving let me open up the network tab let me try this again and we are getting mass assignment exception so let me go to appointment over here and let's add the guarded as empty array if i click on submit now we save those information to our database if i go to appointments now we have three appointments and here we are getting the same name because we are manually using client id as one now it will be good if we redirect the users to appointment listing page after successfully creating the appointments right because currently we are on appointment 
create page though we saved those information to our database so let's use view router to redirect to appointment index page after saving those appointments so let me go to appointment form over here and we need to import use router from view router and let's define the constant call router and call the method call use router and we can use that router over here we can use router dot push and we want to push to admin slash appointments okay now if i fill out this form click on submit now we are on appointment listing page which is perfect it will be good if we also saw that beautiful toast notification after saving the appointment so let's do that as well import use toaster from toaster okay and let's define that toaster as well toaster and let's call that method called use toaster and inside our method we can do toaster dot success with the message call appointment created successfully now let me try this a new appointment fill out this form click on submit and we see this beautiful post notification and our appointment also got added which is great and here we are not dealing with anything like validations and making this dynamic and making this part workable as well so in the next video we'll be working on validation first and then we'll be moving forward so i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one